If you want to create personalized meal planning in minutes, look no further than ChatGPT. But there are a few things you're going to need to keep in mind as a registered dietitian to be compliant and save hours of work. Doesn't that sound good? Now, the caveat that I want all dietitians to be aware of when using ChatGPT, I will disclose towards the end of this video. So make sure to watch the whole way through. You might first wonder, well, why is ChatGPT a game changer for dietitians? Firstly, let's talk about meal planning because today's video is about using ChatGPT as a tool for meal planning. We all know that meal planning can feel cumbersome and take a lot of time to create and customize for our clients. Between customizing meal plans for our clients and then them requesting changes and doing a lot of research and then adjusting again, we can feel overwhelmed in the meal planning process. We often spend hours tailoring to our clients' allergies, needs, and preferences just for a client to tell us that they want us to redo the meal plan. For a busy private practice and a private practice that wants to generate income, we need to find ways to save time well, without impacting negatively the work we do with our clients. Clients often struggle with complex needs such as food preferences and tolerances and symptom management. So we need to be aware of their needs and we need to read the meal plan when it's generated from ChatGPT. But I want you to be aware of how you can save a lot of time and energy in generating these meal plans for your clients. Managing this manually is very cumbersome. So let me give you a shortcut that you won't regret. We want to ensure that the meal plan is aligned with our clients' needs and maintain our client satisfaction, which is why we want to get their feedback. And this is a delicate task. This is a delicate balancing act that will require some adjustment. ChatGPT generates your meal plans quickly based on client input. For example, dietary restrictions, calorie needs, and preferences. It takes the time-consuming task of creating meal plans off your plate. So rather than spending hours of researching, ChatGPT does allow you to generate a plan in a matter of minutes, freeing up valuable time to focus on client communication and other aspects of your practice like marketing. BT is flexible and it can be tailored to each of your client's specific needs. So you can input a wide range of preferences like vegan, gluten-free, or low FODMAP and get a variety of meal options. And it's versatile as a tool, so it adapts to different dietary needs without the rigid structures that meal plan tools often impose. And it's cost-effective, so unlike premium meal planning software, ChatGPT is free to use unless you're opting for a paid subscription, which can give you more bang for your buck, but you can start with a free version and build from there. Now, ChatGPT is an affordable solution, especially for dietitians who are starting out looking to keep costs low. All right, this is a starter option to meal planning. You might use specialized meal planning like Eat Love or any of the other meal planning services like that Clean Life because those are specifically designed for customers and clients who need highly detailed reports and tracking client progress. So ChatGPT will not track client progress, but using one of the tools like that clean life and eat love will. So if you need something more detailed, more in depth, then you might not want to use ChatGPT, especially if you're tracking progress. So keep that in mind. You will use tools like that clean life and eat love when you are doing nutrient analysis, when you want to integrate clients dietary preferences like goals and ongoing feedback. And if you're running a larger group practice where time management and keeping track of client progress is essential. And if you're offering a subscription model or personalized client portals for ongoing meal plan support. So there are situations where you don't want to use ChatGPT. So make sure to think about where you're at right now and what solution would be best for you. ChatGPT is perfect for quick, flexible meal planning, especially for dietitians who don't need deep analysis or need to manage multiple clients in real time and it's best for creating general meal plans or when you have clients with less complex needs or need inspiration. So you might be wondering, when do you use ChatGPT? When you're creating simple meal plans for clients that don't need in-depth analysis. For quick meal planning, especially if you have multiple clients in limited time. When you're working with clients who have a lot of preferences, but don't require a lot of ongoing modifications. And for cost-effective meal planning, when you need a low-cost flexible solution. So let's get started with how to do this. You are tactically going to set up a ChatGPT account. So you're going to access this tool by going online and then you're going to sign up by putting your email in and then you're going to input your client's information, diet preferences, restrictions, and goals. You're going to review the meal plan generated by ChatGPT, then customize the meal plan for individual needs, right? That might mean that you are adding in certain restrictions or requirements that they have for that particular client. Then you're going to finalize this by, you can copy and paste this plan, you can find a way to make sure that you're communicating this to your client. So tips for using ChatGPT is you want to tailor the 
the output for the specific dietary restriction, whether that be IBS, gluten, vegetarian, etc. And you can use prompts that are going to get you the best meal suggestions. So I suggest you spend some time thinking about what you're asking ChatGPT. And that's going to help you for time saving tactics when it comes to using the tool the next time. So in terms of benefits, meal plans improve patient satisfaction and retention. And meal planning is a, a great way for you to stand out as a dietitian because a lot of people are asking for meal plans. So if you can use your session and your time with your client and show them how you're using these tools and that you're using these tools alongside with them to help them strategize, that's going to get them lasting solutions that will help benefit them. So as a conclusion, I want to share the information, the caveat I want you to be aware of as a dietitian, and that is that you cannot put any private information about the client into ChatGPT. So you want to be really careful that you're taking out any private health information, PHI from the client, so you're not putting their name or any identifying information. So instead of saying the patient's name, copying and pasting by accident, you're going to take that out and you're just going to say the dietary restrictions, such as hypotheticals. This person is lactose intolerant. Create a meal plan for someone who's lactose intolerant and is on a budget or create a meal plan for someone who's lactose intolerant on a budget and doesn't want to see calories for a five day meal plan. Give me two different scenarios, two different examples of this meal plan, All right? So you're not giving the actual name of the patient, but you're describing some of the traits so that this answer can be customized, but you're not yet violating HIPAA. So make sure to be really careful when you're using this tool. So as a conclusion, we talked about when you do and don't need to use ChatGPT as a tool. We also talked about how you can use ChatGPT, tactically sign up for an account and customize your input so that you can get better outputs and that you can copy and paste this so you can use this information and then give it to the client or use it when you're on a session, use it for any of your educational materials that you're giving out to your patients. And finally, we talked about the most important thing you need to know as a clinician, which is to protect your client's information. That's the sensitive information that's private and that would be any identifying information about that particular person it could be their name etc so take out any protective health information and just add the description that you're looking for example symptom management taking out calories reducing weight adding weight etc so i hope this was helpful i want you to go give meal planning a try with ChatGPT, and let me know in the comments what video you want me to start with next so that i can help you on your journey of using ai to save you time in your private practice